Mbappe, oh. Calvin. Mbappe. Mbappe. It's an Mbappe, not Mbappe. 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 So it's a short end, not a long, not Mbappe. Mbappe. I like it. Uh, I mean, this is a name that I've heard nonstop for the last couple of years. I did see his hat trick, of course, like I think everyone else on planet Earth saw his World Cup hat trick, uh, which is where we'll start today is by watching some of those highlights from this this amazing run he had in 2022. Eight, eight goals scored in the tournament? Something like that. Yeah. I don't remember how much he got, but I know he got the World Cup gold boot. So. Yeah, Golden Boot, and I believe I believe he's tied for the most in a single tournament, something like that. Absolute murderer. I mean, we watched a ridiculous Frenchman earlier, but I think that as far as the conversation goes nowadays, he would probably concur uh, that Mbappe is right there on his level. Yeah, I mean, uh, Thierry Henry is what we were talking about, and... He was one of the greatest of all time, one of the greatest French men, carried, carried the nation on his back for years, and Mbappe is doing that as we speak today. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, just because I think we both absolutely, like we mentioned in other videos, like when we talked about Jamal, and, uh, we love watching young players just absolutely shoot up. So we're going to... We're going to... We just saved a goal. Oh, no. Damn, to put a... That's crazy. That was nasty. Absolutely disgusting. Is that music in the video? Yeah. That's a, that's a, it's like half speed trap music with open hats. It's very strange. Very very Earl sweatshirt drum line. Two goals in that game. So he hits what's the what's the word for two goals again? A brace. A brace. I mean damn. Oh. Oh. What amazing play! Wow, that was that's just teamwork. Yeah, that was just that's gorgeous football. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, you can stop that. That was perfect. God. That was literally that Damn. was literally perfect placement. Like that was impossible to stop. That was that was one of the best. Like that, as far as just putting a goal somewhere, right over the heads of the of the two defenders there at the backs, and then. Where goalie the goalie has no hope. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that that's impossible to stop. Yeah, what are you supposed to do about that? Dude, American <laughs> announcers are so strange when you listen to other countries. <laughs> you literally just can't. I mean, they couldn't yeah, have been in a better spot. Number fifteen couldn't have done better. Right. Like <laughs> that's tough. Like that's not the hate on him. He plays this ball so well. Between look, look, look where it is right now. <laughs> you think he shot it way wide, <laughs> dude? The velocity. Oh my dude. god! That's what I was just about to say. Like, dude, imagine getting kicked in the teeth by that guy. I he should have been a kickboxer. He would be knocking people out every day, bursting kidneys. Oh my god, again, that's... Dude, like, it must sting. I mean, I wish that they showed the penalties that led to this, because I'm sure it's just, like, he gets to his spot. It's like watching a fantastic shooter, you know what I mean? It's like watching Tracy McGrady. Like, he just said, alright, this is where I'm gonna get, and then I'm gonna put it up from there. I can make that. Like, that's... Right. He gets to that point in the box... Well, you better fucking hit the bitch. <laughs> you better knock that boy out. <laughs> make him kick the penalty because he's going to make that shot. <laughs> right. Eight goals. Ties Pele for most in World Cup history. He's, tw he's 22. I think he's 24 now. But oh, yeah, he's 24. Yeah. Whatever. What? Yeah, young man. He's going to play in how many more World Cups? Three, four. Easily. That's the look of someone who's not about to let it go next time. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the look of somebody who says, next time, next time when I carry you, I, it better be for a fucking reason. <laughs> so yeah, right. that, that one from Fox Sport, crazy ass music on that. 
crazy ass music. You guys won't hear it, but honestly, ch check out. Ch I would check out that video just to hear the music we were hearing. It was so strange. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that was. It was like background, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, though, we got this one from Emin Cops. Killian Mbappe is the best player in the world. That's the title of the video. <laughs> hard, hard not to agree after what we just saw. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> look at what he has him. Look at what he has him. Look at what he like. This man, this man is about to... Is This man is in the second act of the thriller video right now. I've seen that pose. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This, this man's about to... Oh, my God. <laughs> what? That's what I was saying. It's like, it's like if you... Like, he's so good at hitting that shot, though. What right. You have to. You have to. Like, that's... Uh, I mean, it's like Steph Curry pumping, pumping wide open from three. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I meant by, like, the... You know, basketball players who just get to their spot and they can make that shot every time. Like Kobe. Kobe, that was what Kobe was always the best at. But he had the most spots, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. See, there he is making the goal from that spot, you know? <laughs> from deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's like, that's what it really, when we were watching that, like, that's what expands it. Because... Yeah, I mean, it's his box. Once he's in it, it's his. You know, right? He owns. He owns. He owns the. He owns the field. I mean, look at look at where he is. Right, look. There's a guy right in the middle, and and three, all four defenders are looking at him because <laughs> he has the ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> like this guy on the far that's side messy, that's is messy right there. Yeah. This this guy sprinting down here is going to be wide open if he takes one step to the left. But he doesn't have to, because he's too fucking good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Like, it, oh, that's cr it's like it's on a fucking remote for him. <laughs> like, like, not, like, right. like not FIFA. Like, it, it's like he just controls the ball. The ball goes where his mind tells him to. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the stuff he the stuff he does can't even be done with FIFA. So yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh my god, man! Oh my god! I, people say Holland. People say Holland is better than this man. Do the, you believe that? Whoever. Whoever this, whoever the company is that sponsors this, it looks like a hardware store. That's where you should be working, you two, because you're not, you're not there. You're not him. It, it's over. It's over. Like what just happened? What? Y'all are cashiers now. He's he's writing the fucking checks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hit circle. No way, dude. He, does, he doesn't. Look at where he is right now. <laughs> like. Wow, look how he just contorts his body to get a perfect volley. That, Sheesh. I. That. So that I mean, that's going to be the step, right? Like. He's going to be, I, I mean, we haven't seen it as much, but it shows here, right? Like, that's the next step for him, is he's going to be a guy who can make that pass at any time. Like, right. like he's going to be come as good at passing to his teammates as he is at scoring goals right now. And then what, and right. then what do you do? Oh, just with so much power. Yeah, that's like, that's what's unbelievable to me. It's it's like you know like oh. if you compare it to like a baseball picture you know you have power pitchers and you have accurate pitchers and every now and again you know Randy Johnson shows up but like yeah it's rare it's so the fact that in the last thirty years you know that's the name Jacob Degrom but we know what happened there um yeah like there's two names in the last twenty years of baseball. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of guys can do it like that. I mean, like guys know, who can hit 103 on the corner. Yeah, yeah, guys who can hit 103 on the corner anytime. 
But yeah, but that's what he is as a soccer player. Like, that's crazy. Velocity and accuracy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Jover. <laughs> yeah, he just hooks it. <laughs> Look at the goaltender, he's pissed, bro. He's yelling at people before he even stands up. <laughs> Wait, help me. Help, help me. me. What? Don't let him near me. <laughs> no. Just oh my God. <laughs> what was number five doing? <laughs> Damn. Wow. Did you nutmeg him? Yes. <laughs> but look how fast it is. Again, like, he he has that, like, most 99% oh, of soccer players I've seen, and keep in mind, I mostly watch MLS. If they right. kick the ball that hard, it's, it's going to be Sailing. near the bar. And at the least, you know, best case scenario, that thing's going in like right at the bar. This, right. th that's amazing. <laughs> it's just that ball is going to go up in the air. They don't have like, how do you, are you that good at controlling your fucking foot? Yeah. It's hard for me to even you know, understand. I almost, to be said, honest. I almost said something crazy there. Wait, 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 wait. Again, like, I just feel bad for these goalkeepers. <laughs> what are you possibly supposed to do? Sheesh. Oh my goodness. How fast he is. Just... Yeah, I, I, absolute jet. Oh my god. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, if he can become a player who, like, is just doing that twice a game and scoring a goal on top of it, like... Even if those and both don't get finished, you know. Like he can finish the trap. See, that's so anywhere. Nope. The keepers, when I left alone, it's over. I mean, this this is gonna be. Have you ever watched Wayne Gretzky highlights? Have I ever watched what? Wayne Gretzky highlights. Uh, not oh, not much, honestly. I mean, I, I, I mean that's what it's but... like. That's what it's like. Like he was that that good. <laughs> like. If Mbappe does this for another 10 years, he's going to be up there with Ronaldo and Messi in there. Oh, so. yeah. I've been like, I mean, we've, we've kind of been putting off like doing Ronaldo and Messi's because obviously, you know, we won't do that once we have some people on the channel, you know? <laughs> but like, damn. I can't, I, I have trouble imagining highlights from guys who are a whole lot better than this. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, in terms of like skills and visually, like, there's not going to be a whole lot of people better than this. No. Yeah. There really isn't. Just ever. Like we watched some some really great players from like past eras, you know, with Ronaldinho and Ronaldo and Maradona. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Diego Maradona, uh, and it, it's nothing like this. It's not. It's not even close to this. Yeah, I mean Thierry Henry. I think Thierry Henry. Henry yeah, yeah, that would, would be the definitely exception. But, but he's it, also. It's just funny because they're both both black men from. Prince. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's crazy. I can't wait to see what he says about him. That's what we're going to watch next. That's going to be crazy. It's a great video, by the way. Yeah, this is fantastic. Shout out M.M. Cops Jr. again. I, I'm going to... Uh, hitting the bell. I'm hitting the bell on this guy. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's just... oh. <laughs> what on earth, dude? Oh my god. Because, like, we've seen. I, I This is probably going to be the except one of the things that's going to be great about watching better and better players as we go further into this. Is, like, think about all the videos we've watched today and how often that that would not have been finished. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. I feel like we say like four or five times a video. Once one of these players, pat, once the star player in the video makes the amazing pass, the guy didn't finish it. But that's right. not yeah. To actually get to see him play with like 
other really great players and they do finish it, it's nice. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's just insane. A perfect cross. Oh my god. This is the end. He's getting a lot of dimes in this video, too. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's... I, I, I'm struggling to find the words. Glori glorious. <laughs> Magnificent. Iridescent. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Lord almighty. Oh my god, dude. This is like one of the cleanest bits of football I've seen, period. <laughs> the pass, he's, both he's, passes he's were like, beautiful. He's the, I, he's the reason I like this sport. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Aye, aye, aye. Oh. oh. Yeah, he's, he's complete. He's a complete player. Yeah. That's the thing, like, Holland was never going to make dimes like that, ever. Never. He's never going to, he's never going to do 99% of what we've seen in this video. Exactly. Finishing in the box, it's like, Bobby could do that too. He's better at it. He just, he's, the thing is, is that Mbappe just takes less of those because he's just as good at kicking it from 30 yards away. Right. Like, uh, that's just, I don't think we, we haven't seen a guy like this. I mean, I'm guessing this is going to be, like, once we see some Ronaldo, Messi, obviously, I think it's going to be a lot more like this. But, like, right. we haven't seen this. Like, even Tyrion, no. like, yeah, he was great physically and all that, but, like... The different, yeah. like when he was making those long shots, you know, they were like nice little lobs and stuff, and they were definitely like he was definitely good at it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same as this. We've seen Mbappe score at, at every angle, and in like, like that's what I said. Like a lot of those balls, like they got kind of lobby, they were kind of lobbed up, and you know, there wasn't look at my defender in the face, and then I'm gonna kick it around him at 90 goddamn miles per hour right into the goal from 30 right. yards away. That's crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's he's complete. He's the yeah. best in the world. It's always really interesting when they're playing in, sta in, in stadiums, the right word, fields, tracks. What are they what what do they call like this this the stadiums. Yeah, but you know like this wouldn't be a stadium. We'd probably call this like oh, right. a yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand, but yeah, I don't I don't know. I wonder what the terminology is like. I know I know track is used often, but I don't know if that means like every time every time I hear that story it used to be a racetrack, but like I'm guessing a lot of fit pitches in Europe used to be racetracks. So I wonder if it's like a colloquial thing as well, just to call it a track, you know what I mean? Right, right. Like we call stuff arenas because there used to be uh, they used to be like parts of a castle. Yeah. The inner sanctum of a castle that was open to a courtyard. That's the arena, and then obviously there's the arena in Rome. So, anyway. I need to see this man in the Premier League. I think we need to see him in the World Cup in 2026. Oh, this isn't nearly over. Let's go. <laughs> there's a whole other song. I was a little sad that it was over. <laughs> but I was like, ah, he only can have so many highlights. <laughs> It was like 23 when this video was, or 22 when this video was made. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dime. Oh no. Whoa! How did he find that angle? That was the only place that could score. That's insane, dude. Thread the needle. I mean, just to, just to make another comparison. I mean, like. It's like one of those things when, when people talk about who's the best quarterback ever now, you know? But, like, Patrick Mahomes is better at throwing the football than I ever have seen in my entire life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's yeah. how next level this feels. Like, yeah, oh, yeah Tom definitely. Brady, Peyton Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, you know, Drew Brees even, you know, uh, and Joe Burrow's even, you know, a great thrower of the football right now. But... 
it's nothing like what he does, you know? <laughs> yeah. And that's like, that's how it feels when we're watching these goals versus, you know, watching cough, cough. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're really, really good at that, but he's good. At, he's, that. he's better at it than you and everything else. Yeah. Like, so sorry. I, and again, I'm not. I'm not, really I'm not, slan- this, I'm not slandering one that. man here. Let me be clear. This is like I'm. Ta- I'm still talking about. I'm still so like I'm still talking about Patrick Mahomes other versus other quarterbacks. Like yeah, Aaron Rodgers fantastic at deep throws and you know putting passes in crazy places. Mahomes is better. Peyton Manning great at commanding an offense and finding finding the right hole with the right guy every time. Patrick Mahomes is as good at that. Yeah, Ben Roethlisberger escaping the sack and fine and making plays an extra time on on broken down plays. Patrick Mahomes is better at it. <laughs> like, you know, that's yeah, that's crazy to me. That's how it feels watching Mbappe. It's like that. He's just better than everyone else I've seen <laughs> by far, <clears throat> and better at them at everything. <laughs> right. Look, I mean, look how he turns his foot to make that goal. Yeah, I'm like, how? That's a that is that is all like that is like Kobe level reps. You know what I mean? That is ten thousand. He's taken that shot ten thousand times. Right. Like that, it shows. Like he, yeah, I like everything about what I see here as a, as an athlete and as a soccer player. Oh my lord. I mean, that defender just got lucky. <laughs> I know he hasn't, they haven't won the French champion or title, right? No, they won that multiple times. They, they won, won, they haven't won. won. The UCL. UCL That's... or Europe. UCL and Europa are the same thing? No, Europa, Europa League is different. Okay, but they haven't won that either. Right? Or did they uh... win one? I think they won one. Oh no, but it's not. I really just know there's genius, a little so bit of. I know there's a little bit of slander, but also Mbappe is the youngest player on the team. So that's you know, between the three guys, uh, and obviously now there's not three guys. It's just it's him and Neymar again. So anyway, yeah, this this landing at twenty four not winning. It. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not sorry to slander him for that. I just I heard that about Na- I've heard that about Neymar's time there, and obviously he's mm-hmm. been there in a similar time period, but. In, no slander on anybody. I'm just asking questions for clarity to make sure I'm, I'm thinking of this right. That that that's yeah. what I'm saying though. He deserves he deserves to play for a team that is going to surround like him the Champions with League, yeah. all the best all the best players in in the world. Even even yep. if it's Manchester City, mm. I, I would say that even if it has to be Manchester City, he deserves to play mm-hmm. with all the best players in <laughs> no the world. Re- no one will respect it, though, if he goes there and wins. Yeah, but this guy, that guy is so good that, like, I just don't think it matters. <laughs> He'd be the best player on the team. He'd be the best player on any team he goes to. Yeah, how will lose a job? <laughs> yeah, I, he'd be sold. <laughs> he'd go, he's a Newcastle player now. <laughs> He gets sold to the other Saudi team. <laughs> well, I could definitely see that though. Newcastle, they, they do have a lot of money. They just gave him, they gave him seventeen Brinks trucks outside his front house every day for the next thirty years. <laughs> they do need a truck. And he got, and he played and he plays in New Hampton. That would be crazy. But it was if I was twenty four and the best soccer player in the world, <laughs> and someone was like, "Oi, I want to move to Liverpool." <laughs> from Paris, <laughs> be like, mm, mm. but the issue is with with that is it's like you're not looking at it from like a legacy perspective. Like I know I I'm really... I'm looking at it from a him perspective because I mean he's still getting Saudi money. He's guitar lives, money. Yeah, he lives in his home country, plays for yeah. the best team in his home country. And and he should uh, go to Real Madrid. That's that's where he, that's where he's always wanted to go. Yeah, that, that would be good for him too. Because then he, he, he if he wants to win the UCL, they won fourteen of them, so they know how to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I just it's just, like, see, that's, it's just boring. Honestly, League One yeah. is ass. I don't want to watch them. I don't want to watch League One anymore. I, People only watch League One because him and Messi and Neymar. Yeah, and now Messi's they're gone. Got, Messi's Neymar's gone too. Neymar will leave most likely. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And but also Neymar is thirty four. 
Yeah, he's older, so. So, I mean, Neymar's kind of been doing that thing that most players his age do right now. Because he signed with them when he was 31, I think, right? Yeah, that was for a big old bag. Big yeah, old, he, goes, he took bag. a big old Saudi. He took his Saudi money and he moved to France, and now he he just chilling. I, but, I heard he's been linked to like Chelsea and stuff, so he may hmm. come. He may come to the Prem. That'd be fun to see him there. It'd be, but cool. I don't know if he can take the physicality though. To be honest, I don't know who could. Julian fucking Mbappe. Be... Oh yeah, he can take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy is nasty. God damn. So this is a uh, Tyrion Reed on. On Killian Mbappe, why he's so lethal with the ball at his feet from Paramount. Let's go. With the goal that he scored three weeks ago against uh, against Real Madrid, mm-hmm. because that was that was special. And people always talk about his speed, but it's not only that. I, I like the fact that he has control. <laughs> <laughs> he scores a goal here, Calvin. <laughs> what? Power. And and. Sheesh. <laughs> Imbalance. It's just, uh, like, when, like I said, when when control and space and is just... Is, is that, but I never understood that with the defender. Why? You, you defend the ball, obviously, and the goal. But you always at one point want to come and get it, or you you overstepping somewhere. Because we don't want of... to give you time to think about where you're going to go next with the ball. That's... I want to hear more defenders talk. I want to get it. They're both defenders, yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's very... Yeah. That's like such a good insight. I, I hadn't really thought about that. It's like, yeah, we don't want you to have time to think about it. That's, hmm. Because if you think about it, he's doing this, he's doing this, he's doing this. Where can he go there? The goal is there. (laughs) (laughs) Where can he go there? The goal is behind you. (laughs) (laughs) That's so good. Oh, I'm, yeah. God, I'm waiting you to <laughs> open up. I just love that though. I think so about how he can score goals. It doesn't just happen like that. Mm. Well, that's in tight mm. space and in, in his I think that is also a huge difference. Like oh, that's what I I guess maybe that's what I was getting in with like how it's obvious how many reps he takes. He creates goals, like in a way that's difficult to replicate. And like he's saying, he's He's thinking. He's not just yeah. recklessly running forward and oh, I'm just fast. Oh, like a lot of people just say, uh, tune him to just being fast. Like, nah, he's right. fast and he's technical too. And he has yeah. vision. And he has you know control. And he has dribbling. And he has finishing. And yeah. he has his power. He and, has you know it saying? all. Like, he has it all. Right. Like every, almost every attribute you'd want in a in a winger striker, whatever you want to call. Right. It. The re- I think that is part of the reason, like, when I said, oh, it looks like he practices a lot. Like, it's also just that he he's that good at thinking it out. So right. it's like, it, it's just as much of a testament, a testament to his reps as it is to his intelligence for the game. He's almost so good that people just think he's good just because he, cause he's a great athlete. Yeah. It's almost like they, people That's just think not... it's... That's not, friend, like, I, no. I, I, I mean, we have we have stopped in videos before, and I've talked about like science of a great athlete. I didn't think about that at all while I was watching him. Not because he isn't a great athlete, but because he's so good at the game. Yeah, like he's like obviously he's faster than like everyone, but like it's clearly it's a lot more to the speed. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's, it's obvious. It, it, there's been a lot. We've watched a lot. Uh, I think like when we talk about Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, super skilled player, ridiculously fast, wasn't create goals like that. He didn't make goals appear out of nowhere. And Mbappe yeah. does that. Yeah. He doesn't. He he didn't give a guy a look a look, and then that became the goal. You know, he did a really fancy move. Someone fell on the ground. He forced somebody to make a bad play. He scored. Mbappe, right. Mbappe they can be making the best play. They can be right. making the best play on the ball they need to, making the best play in, on defense that they need to, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like kind of like, oh, I am inevitable kind of thing. Exactly. Like, like it was like so many times we, we pause videos and we were like, yeah, just make them make a decision, right? Make them make a decision. And yeah, they, I didn't feel that way when we were watching him. It felt like they were making the right decisions and he just does it anyway. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> All humility because this guy is just a freak. Uh, but the way he could see a goal and think about so, it. So yeah, even even Henry is saying 
yeah, nah, he's he's better. <laughs> he, he said he said not to not to not to compare myself really, but let me be humble. This guy's better. <laughs> it's not eleven players to beat. If I beat <laughs> you, I beat the line. Win your one v one. Then you would have another, and then you will see the goalkeeper. Damn, that is, that is that is quite a way of thinking about it. It's kind of like a way not to psych yourself out, just to like keep winning That's your like, listen, individual you have, little battles on the way not to 11 guys. the ultimate goal. There's not 11 guys out there. You have to beat the guy on the front, you have to beat a guy on the back, and then you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good, it's a good point. I would right. be very curious to ask, like, Cordell Patterson about that, you know, as, like, a fantastic, specifically on kick return touchdowns. Like, I wonder how yeah. he thought about that kind of thing. Yeah, just... Like, oh, yeah, you beat one guy and another guy. Because, I, I mean, <laughs> you know, that's, like, it's almost a similar concept on kick returns, right? It's like, all right, I get a good block here, I get a good block there, I get a good, I make a guy miss here, I make a guy miss there, and I'm in the end zone. I don't know why I'm there, by the way, but I'm there. <laughs> I wish he wins. <laughs> this is the people. I wish he wins. I know he fell. He's out. I don't have to look behind me. It's over. Now, one. <laughs> It's over. It's over. It's, it's over. It's over. I love how you just said, I was looking behind me. It's over. He's coming again. I don't know. I don't know if he's try like knows he's being funny or if he like is just French. I think you know? he'd be like I think that's just he just like yeah, I could be. Yeah, I think he's just being French. But what if he was to take a step? If he did take a step, I was dead. But he didn't. This is what I thought at the time when I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what if he took a step? Well, if he did, if he did then I'm dead. <laughs> but if he didn't take a step. <laughs> when I was playing against you, I don't think I played the way I would against somebody else because it was you. He said... He said, I don't think I played like other against other players like I played against you. <laughs> he said, you embarrassed me. <laughs> he said, I was a different man <laughs> when I fell on that ground right then. I, I, was, think, I, think, yeah, I think it was Jamie Carragher. Yeah, he was like, I got past Jamie. And then, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what he that's said. Him. Just against me. I, I, I love, I love, I wish you had it been. <laughs> wish you had it been there. Yeah, that was hilarious. I do wonder then. So, like, because when you think about that, right, if you're running 4-4-2 versus 4-4-2, those back, uh, back wing defenders, man, they got to try to be some of the most confident people in the world, you know? Like, it's almost like being a cornerback. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, it's you and me, and I'm better. Like, I feel like that, that would have to be the attitude. That would have to be the mentality. And if you lost that, you've already lost. And you're facing someone like, like uh, Enri or you're facing someone like Mbappe. It's over. Right. You need confidence in yourself. Yeah. Because, I mean, I imagine most most of the time if you're defending a guy, you're playing at a high level. You have a scouting report that says, hey, watch for attack when he's going to his left foot, attack when he's going to his right foot. Because I imagine everyone right. has a weaker foot. Everyone, you know, this guy, you know, he tends to lose his balance on, on curved. If you force him to the outside, he'll probably stumble and not, or at least not be able to run as fast on a break. Right? Like, this is just... Right. These are just physical weaknesses that people have that people play to in sports in general. Like you do that in basketball, yeah. you do that in football, you do that in uh, hockey. Like you, you're forcing guys. So when someone is just, you know, like someone who has who has absolute control, of both. I just still don't think we've seen a guy in the NBA who is just actually able to do everything with his left hand that they're able to do with their right hand. You know. Um, yeah, but he's like that. And so, like that's that that seems to be the big difference from from some of these just absolutely dominant players is that their left foot might as well be their right foot. Yeah, like you might as well just give up if they're gonna shoot with the shoot with the right. But then when you get into the left, it's like eh, I don't know about that, chief. No power. Either either they sacrifice power or accuracy. And, then, and with soccer, I mean, like so much of it is just balance too like that that makes it very unique it's like it's such it's so 
I, I think that's one of those things you don't really think about. Like, you know, a lot of Americans will go, oh, it's the sport where you kick a ball around. No, it's the sport where you use the shit out of your legs. You use your legs for fucking everything. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, like, you, get, you get gas. So I, yeah, I applaud yeah. the guy. I'm not even played. talking about, like, running, though. I'm talking about, like, balance. I'm talking, like, because think about it. You're dribb- you have an out- a chance at that, you know, the outside right or left side of the box, and you're dribbling as hard as you can. There's a guy with a body right the fuck up against you. You're, you know, trying to play for the cross. You better be strong. You better be balanced. You better be able to put that foot right where it needs to be when it needs to be there. And you need to do it all at 99 miles an hour, you know? Right. Like, right. And that's incredibly difficult. I mean, it's a, it's a human, it's a human feat. Everywhere on the field, take the ball and we can see here. Oops. Oh, no. Now he can bend or he can hit it for your leg. So now you don't, you don't even know if you have to put your leg up or not so this is why i think this guy is clever because he doesn't stay only with what he was born with his work yeah yeah i think that was just exactly the video to end on because yeah i think that that really did culminate what we saw in those highlights to be honest yeah and we kind of point we kind of said a lot of that i know i feel good yeah about it. i know i'm like hey, hey. Some, some, i'm like hey we say the same thing to you <laughs> Okay. I know. I know. I feel like I feel like a, a little bit. I feel like kind of. I'm having a student of the game moment. You know. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like starting to get this shit. <laughs> like, I understand what he's doing. Like, he's yeah. not just. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I like like when he broke that down though, and he's like one on one, and then one on one. I'm like, man, that's like that is like it's really true when you think about it. It's like if you can beat two guys, you're at the goal every time. And then you right, and then you're able to finish balls like that. Shit, yeah, I so mean, he was saying earlier in his career, he was just he was cooking boys, but he wasn't able to finish. Now he's able to finish. It's like, well, it's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh, any last thoughts? Nah, I, I mean, think, I think you know, that... good analysis from Thierry and Mbappe is out of this world, and they're both great players. And I'm glad we got to watch them both tonight. Yeah. Awesome stuff. I, I think we, we ended up with a great lineup tonight. These are going to be split up on different days, different videos. But we, we watched R9. Yep. And then we watched and then we watched uh, Enri. And then we watched Mbappe, right? Yeah. We scattered or... some other videos in there. But those were like the player highlights. So we watched tonight. And damn. Saw some great strikers. I saw, I mean, I think this is like the perfect video. First, it kind of asks, like, hey, like, we get we we need not strikers, <laughs> you know. We need send us some guys who are like the best defenders ever. Send us some guys who are, uh, you know, just glue guys who put teams together. Like send us some of those guys because, um, damn, I think we we seen the best guys. <laughs> I think I ha- I think, I mean, we've seen most of the best offensive players already. Uh, we haven't seen like you know a whole bunch of Messi or Ronaldo videos yet, but we'll we're get to them, we're gonna yeah. Rather Messi and you know get a, get us some subscribers on it. subscribe and uh, and Messi and Ronaldo will come but uh, we're not gonna yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save that <laughs> we're gonna, we'll yes, sir. Yes, sir. we'll have videos this length on Messi and Ronaldo uh, multiple times over I expect but send us some guys who are different send us some guys who are weird send us some, send us your weird favorite player you know send me send me Tim Parker highlights send me uh, I don't know. What's some lights? Just some like some dude, <laughs> some randos. Yeah, good. but no, I know name some. I don't know. You're gonna know more than me. Oh, I mean, you know, Diego Delo is pretty good. Uh, David De Gea. Show me. Uh, he yeah, was like send me, goalkeeper. Send me highlights from fucking League Two 1990s guy who just was just like a beloved hometown hero. Anyway, <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see them all now because I feel like we've seen some of the best stuff. I want to see. I want to see everything. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe. Peace out.